is Five Bible Church, Austin, Texas. We are here with our beloved sister who miraculously was healed during the Gialingo Crusade. And she is ready to share her testimony with the church and the body of Christ. Sister, go on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Lovaki Howard. And I attend church at Deeper Life, Austin, Texas, in America. This is my testimony. The Lord is good. Amen. So, um, September 2021, I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma. That's blood cancer. So during that time, I was empty in my spirit, and uh, I needed God. I, I needed Jesus to intervene in my situation. So I started following Papa Kumuyi uh, on YouTube, um, at, on, um, at the crusade, at church, any, any of his things I can lay hand on. Where's my book? Where's my book? I, I started following him, even with this defender of the faith, I started following him, and I was receiving. So, but to God be, be the glory, they diagnosed me with this one, September 2021, during the crusade at Jalingo, uh, 2022, I received my healing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it was the last day of the meeting where Papa prayed, and specifically he mentioned my case. He said, uh, blood cancer, and I claimed it, and I received it. I said, that was for me, and pray to God be the glory, it was for me. I knew in my spirit, I, I had this peace that that was for me, and I am healed. So I went back to my doctor um, in, um, the following week, that was uh, first week in March, I told them that I needed them to do another test. My hematologist said, no, you don't need another test. We know you have this cancer. We are going to do bone marrow transplant. He said, that was not for me. I'm here. So I went back to my oncologist. I told him, I need you for, for you to do a test. He said, OK, he agreed. And he ordered the test, uh, bone marrow aspiration and bone marrow biopsy. So when they ordered the test, the test came back negative. Cancer gone. Every my bone, my marrow. Everything clean, clear. Johnny, yeah. I give all and I bless God for Baba Kubuyi. Thank you, Baba. God bless you. Amen. Baba Kubuyi. Thank you, Baba. God. If you want to rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Bone cancer bowed to the name of Jesus. Jesus' power for extraordinary breakthrough. And we now take you to Abia State, where we have striking testimonies. Abia live the lord by the grace of god my name is sister maria david i'm from nigeria abia state i'm here to testify to the glory of god for what god has done in my life today this leg started so many years ago when I was having the pregnancy of my third son, my son was sitting at this leg, this leg. So by then for me to walk is a problem to me. So the thing continue, continue, continue. When it started seriously, it was last year. That is when I started feeling bad that. This leg started when I was pregnant of that myself, my third son. If I sit down, for me to stand up would be a problem to me. 
if I stand up, for me to raise my leg, I will just hold myself and stand up for some hours, for some minutes before walking, that the, play, the pains will relieve me. And this is my hand. I find it difficult to raise this my hand. I was feeling pains inside my bone. So as the man of God was praying, after the last amen, what I heard was, I had a noise in my bone. I now exercise myself. I see that everywhere was free. Even the heaviness in my heart. Everything just vanished away. I said, praise the living God. Praise the Lord. The sister by my side had heart problem of a partial stroke for some time now but as she came this night and the man of God prayed the power of God touched her who oh, hear her testimony in our local language don't you make any people anyone partial stroke Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. See, what can she not do before? You can see now she's walking by herself without anybody assisting her. Is God not good? Is God not good? Praise the Lord. Jam your hand together for the Lord. Jam your Done hand it. together for Jesus. And now we'll take you to Aquaibom State for another testimony. Aquaibom live. Praise the Lord. Brethren, I have with me Sister Patience Onoyo Masukwa, who the Lord had brought out from the pains, the severe pains of internal pile, dating back to 2012. And then the Lord took away the pains and all of the discomfort. At last year, November, during the wonders of the cross crusade at Uyo, and I was wondering why it took her so long to testify. She said she needed some time to prove that these pains has really gone. Let's listen to her, sister. Just praise the Lord. My name is Patience Onoyo Masuko. I'm watching Mindipa Life Bible Church under Barat Group, South South Nigeria. I want to thank God for what God has done for me. I was suffering from internal pain since 2012, and since then I have been suffering. I've been taking hot water for pouring. If I don't take, if I don't take hot, hot water for pouring, that means I will not be able to eat. I will not even be able to walk. I've done all I could. I've been taking blood tonic. I've been taking um, herbal treatment. And all those who could not have fell. It was on the wonders of the cross crusade that God delivered me from every form of pains. I've been having constipation, internal heat, stomach pains, stomach noise. I went for scan. After the, after the scan, doctor said he has not seen anything. Then I went back. I cried to God. I told God that this crusade will not come and go without me having my testimony. It was on the wonders of the cross crusade that God delivered me from all the stomach pains, internal pain, stomach constipation. And I'm now, I, I am free. I can eat. I can do anything I want to do. I said, may his name alone be praised in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The name of the Lord be praised for great things he has done, for all he's done and all he's going to do. And tonight, 
It will be your turn very soon. Let's take you to the social media for a striking testimony. Well, I can confirm to you what could be more striking than the salvation of one soul. And that is the testimony coming from the social media from Tennyson. It says, I thank God for restoring my salvation. I am sure that I have been saved. And yet another story of conversion coming from Protacot, Rumodalo District. This brother, Joseph Chukwudi, a six-year-old boy, last night, after the ministration of the man of God, gave his life to the law. And right now, calmness and uh, the sweet experience that follows the new birth he is enjoying. Indeed, the Lord is awesome. Wonderful, great testimonies, salvation of one soul. And before we go, we bring you this testimony from Uche Wafo. This testimony is from Ogun State. And on Ogun State, Abelkuta Crusade. Uche wrote, for two months before the crusade, I couldn't explain how all of a sudden I couldn't talk very intact most of the time. And people couldn't hear me. I couldn't preach anymore as I used to do. I took medications to no avail. I drank ginger, yes. garlic, lemon, and the rest of it. But when the Abel Kota crusade came on, all I did was to wait for the mention of the name of Jesus. And at the name of Jesus and the final amen, I believe God opened the miracle prayer of the man of God.